So in order to do this question, we're going to need to look at this molecular orbital diagram that they're talking about. Uh, this is going to start with the sigma and the sigma star. And then we've got the two P2P orbitals coming in next. So these are our pi orbitals. And finally, this S P, S2P orbital. Um, and then we need their antibonding counterparts, which is going to be these guys, pi star, and at the very top here, sigma star. So now we just need to fill in electrons. Um, we're going to start with A here with four electrons. So we fill in one, two, and then three, four. And we got to predict this bond order. So remember, bond order is bonding electrons minus antibonding electrons and then over two, because traditionally bonds are two electrons. So if we look at this, we've got two bonding, I've drawn in red, two antibonding, I've drawn in green, that's zero. Zero over two is zero. So that's the bond order we expect. Another way to say that is we don't expect them to be able to bond. Um, and now we need to know if this molecule is going to be paramagnetic or diamagnetic. Um, diamagnetic means that all of the electrons are paired up. You can think of like di as in two. Um, they all have a pair. Paramagnetic, there's unpaired electrons. So here, all the electrons are paired up. That's going to be diamagnetic. To answer B, we need to add another two electrons. They're going to go in like this. So now when we look at the bond order, we see we've got four bonding electrons. We have two antibonding electrons. That leaves us with two. We divide by two to get a bond order of one. And because these two electrons exist in two orbitals instead of in one orbital, orbital where they had to be paired, we see that this is going to be paramagnetic. To answer C, we add in another two electrons. They still go into the lowest energy orbitals like that. We see we've got six total bonding electrons and two antibonding, which leaves us with four more bonding electrons. And because we need two electrons per bond, that's a bond order of two. And it, additionally, since we've paired up all of the electrons, this is going to be diamagnetic. And finally, for D, we had an extra one electron there. Um, that's going to make our compound paramagnetic because anytime you have an odd number of electrons, you're essentially guaranteed to be paramagnetic because they can't all be paired up. And our total bond order now is going to be two and a half. We get that by adding up um, all seven of these electrons, subtracting the two green ones, which are in antibonding pairs, to get five, and then when we take five and divide by two, we get two and a half. So stronger than a second than a double bond, but not quite as strong as a triple bond. <laughs>